Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brony from Cambridge Tech and welcome back. So in this series of videos, you are building a fully functional web application. This is going to be an inventory management system. We've looked at a couple of things. Now we are looking at some little details that we missed out during the whole build up. So in this video, you are going to look at flash messages. Now flash messages are going to be interesting things that is going to help us understand or going to make the user understand certain things happening within the system. So for instance, um, let's look at what we have for products. I haven't done this yet, so I'm just showing a demonstration of it and we are going to do it later on in this video. The admin wants to add in some kind of product over here. So let's say product, I want to say, I want to add, I want to add pen drive. So I have pen drive over here and I want to use um, electronics for pen drive and the quantity I have 90. So now pay attention to after I add this product. Now pen drive has been added, but then the flash message is what we have over here. So we can see that pen drive has been added. Okay. So this is what we have for the flash message. And when I refresh, it goes off. So this is what we are going to see in this demonstration. So once again, let me delete this because we don't need this. So we are going to see how we add flash messages onto our application. So I'm going to go into VS code and inside my views. Okay. Inside my dashboard application and inside views, I'm going to run an import of So I'm going to say from Django dot contrib onto import messages. And this is where we get the flash messages from. So over here, we're in our products.html page because this is where we add the product and we added the flash message over here. So I'm going to go into the product page as we have over here. Now the flash message is going to come inside this log and I'm sorry I didn't add this as and when we were working with this but I wanted to create a separate video for it so that we see other different types of flash messages so here we have this okay so after saving this okay after saving this just come and add in this logic over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say products I'm going to have a variable over here I'm going to call product name so product name is going to be and I'm going to explain this. So I'm grabbing the form, this form that we have over here. And I'm going to call this method on it. So form.cleanData.get. And what do I want to get? I want to get something over here. Now let me show you. When we come into models.py, this is the product. Okay. Remember, we created this form for the product. Okay. The product form. So once again, let me go into the product form the forms of pi over here and within the product form we have a field called name so i want to grab the name so i'm using the dot get over here so i want to grab i want to get name so now what this simply means is i am grabbing from the form that i'm going to submit i am grabbing the name and putting it in this variable so what i'm seeing over here is form dot clean data so as you can see the form assistance is going to have the name the category and the quantity now i want to clean this up and get only the name and that's what i'm doing over here now remember we've imported messages over here so you can get or you can make good use of the message so just under this i'll just call in messages dot success so within messages dot success I there's a lookup over here. I need to pass in the request, and the next parameter I need to pass in is the message. So the message is what I'm going to show over here. So I'm going to put out a formatted string, and we can have access to this name that we are grabbing in here. So inside this formatted string, I can do products. I can do products name as I have over here. So product underscore name and I'll say has been added. So when I do this, we are one step away from handling this. So as far as the view is concerned, we are done. Now let's go into the products.html templates as we have over here and put in some logic. Now, as you can see, this is 
or this flash message is going to appear just above this okay so this is actually the core md4 demarcation we had over there so just have it in mind that it's just going to appear above add products okay so just above add products over here that is where it is going to appear so first of all let's put out a div tag over here okay now before we write anything let's put in some logic so i'm going to bring out my template tag and i'm going to see for message okay for message in messages for message in messages and then i want to end for over here so i'm going to end for all right so for message in messages i want to end for now as far as this messages is concerned there are a couple of messages that we can have so for instance we can do messages okay and immediately i i put in the dots we have messages dots um error we have messages dot info and things of that and and messages don't want and this actually corresponds to kind of alerts that we are going to put out over there so we are seeing that for message in messages okay and we are also going to put out another template tag over here and i'm going to say if message and i'm going to end the if over here i'm going to say end if then just about here i'm going to put out the class alert and alert dash and i'll put out the template tag over here because we want to have message.tags all right so we want to have message.tags and all that we need to pass in here is the message okay all that we need to pass in here is the message and the message is exactly what we have over here so we are going to see product name which is going to be whichever name we give it has been added all right so after saving this and i think our dev server is still running there's no problem if i come back to come and refresh okay we are in business so let me add a new product over here so our new products let me still do pen drive remember i deleted pen drive and the category is electronics and let's add 10 of pen drives so when i click on this you can see that pen drive has been added now let's add another one and let's say we add banana we don't have banana in here and banana is going to be food and we just have 200 and when i click on this we have banana has been added all right so this is good for our design now let's come back here and log out now i want to have a situation immediately i register there's a flash message that says the user is registered now i can log in okay that makes a lot of sense with a lot of applications we see around so we are going to repeat the same thing but remember the registration is in our user application okay so we are going to come in here and we are going to perform the same thing um as we did over here so with what i did i'm also going to import from django.contrib i want to import messages the right about here as far as the registration is concerned once again let me come into this form and see so for the create user form i have username so i want to grab and say um, account has been created for the username you just registered okay so i can come in here and i'm just going to say username okay so the username is going to be a variable and this is going to hold the value from our form okay our form dot clean data dot get and what do i want to get i want to get the username okay and the username i'm actually getting it from this um create user form okay i want to get this username all right then finally i'm going to say 
messages dot success and the first parameter is going to be the request and the message will follow so for this message i'm also going to use a formatted string so for the message i'm going to say account has been created for and i'm going to pass in the username we just grabbed from the form okay so account has been created for this username and i can now say continue to log in so continue to log in so when i save this this is quite long but then this is what you want now we also need to come into the register view okay so remember immediately the save happens over here it gets redirected to the login view so we want to display the flash message on that login view so we'll come into the login.html and just about um, i think let's see let's try and see login okay so just about the login text over there so i think just about here you can put in this over here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy what we did for the products over here there's no need typing everything again so i'm just going to copy this and i'll do a control c and come in here and come and paste it over here all right so this is also going to pick up the message we used so now let's register a new user and see how things go so let's register a new user and i'm going to say the new user is sam so i'm having sam at gmail.com and i'll type in the password all right so immediately i click on register you can see that you see our account has been created for sam continue to log in so i can now put in my username which is sam and my password is what i have over here so now i'm in business now sam is a newly created user he hasn't made any other and things of that so that's why you have these empty then also sam is now having to use or is now going to use the avatar image we can edit this we've seen this in the past all right so i think this is going to be it and um, we are going to end here so this is going to be the end of this video now if you find this video very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambro tech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambro tech we say learn programming you can do it also don't forget to pass in any comment or ask any question you seek clarification or answers to thank you very much and bye bye